Okay, so in this episode of Talking MLB with Fru, we are going to be discussing why the Blue Jays need to extend Danny Jansen. And if anybody knows me personally, they know that Danny Jansen is probably one of the best Blue Jays players. And in my opinion, he is a better catcher than Alejandro Kirk. Some may disagree, but I, I, I have a firm belief that he is a better catcher than Alejandro Kirk. And the reason we're discussing this now is because Danny Jansen... He only has one year left on his contract, and quite honestly, I, I, I want to lock this guy up for like six more years, se- seven more years. I know he has injury history, and he has injury concerns, but that does not really bother me. I gotta say, like he is, he's such a good catcher, and his swing to me is so iconic. He always manages to perform in the clutch, like I believe in the ninth, eighth and ninth inning, He's hitting something like his OPS is like over a thousand consistently. Like if you if you look at his baseball savant page, it's insane. And to compare him to some other to some other catchers, like yeah, his his splits in uh, his splits in the uh, in the ninth inning, he has a 998 OPS, and then in extra innings he has an 11 1166 OPS. This year, his slash line. Was an average of 228, a 312 on base, and a 474 slugging, so good for a WAR of 1.6. And Danny Jansen. This also meant that he had a uh, 17 home runs, 53 RBIs, and a 786 OPS plus, or a 786 OPS, 115 OPS plus. This guy's insane. And if you don't think that's that good, you can look at another Blue Jays superstar in it by the Knights of Vladdy with his slash line of 264, 345, 444 with a war of 2.0. So, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and Danny Jensen, I hate to say it, but offensively, they're not that different as players. And the only major downside I can see in signing Danny Jensen is his injury history. The one major downside of having Danny Jansen is that he only played 86 games. And if you if you're gonna give this guy a contract that so many other teams have given their star catchers, you kinda wanna see some more help. He only had 268 at bats, and it's not like this was just a bad season. Uh, in in 2022 he only played 72 games. In 2021, he only played 70 games. The potential for power with Jano has always been there. And I and I repeat, it has always been there he doesn't really strike out a ton the power's there and this season i think he would if he played a whole 162 games he would have he would have either tied or beaten vladdy for uh, uh for team leading in home runs that being said in a projected toronto blue jays 2024 starting lineup he's batting fourth as the dh so they need this guy in the lineup and they need to extend him long term and while we do have one of the best catching duos with kirk and jansen I don't think you can ride with just Alejandro Kirk. If we still had Gabriel Moreno, I'm, I may be more open to it, but we don't. And I think that it's really important that we extend Danny Jansen now because he is just such a good catcher and he's the type of guy you can build a franchise around when he's healthy.